boys, I just finished up watching the UFC 303 press conference and am I the only one that's just been so disappointed with like media day and a lot of the promotion for UFC recently and it feels like you know if there wasn't any YouTubers covering the UFC the promotion would be struggling way more than what it is right now because let's be honest a lot of this media day stuff a lot of the promotion that they do release to promote fights have been pretty terrible they haven't changed anything it's all been the same routine for years now honestly it's getting worse and worse and after watching how boring the ufc 303 press conference was i was pretty pissed off you know this is international fight week i want something a little bit more than just a snooze fest for the press conference and to be honest i can't remember the last time we had a good press conference just the whole media day itself is pretty ass as well so i have three things the ufc can implement that will 100 help them boost in revenue boost in everything dana white hunter campbell if you guys are listening then pay attention get your notebook books out because i'm gonna give you guys some rare ideas that will 100 help the company grow that being said these are all very very easy things to implement you know let's start off with a press conference because like i said 303 that press conference was ass as soon as things started to heat up between ian gary and mvp for some reason dana white i don't know what is going on with you but you you just ended the press conference as soon as things were starting to get semi-interesting I don't know if he just doesn't want any more beef between people anymore. I don't know what it is, but it's terrible for marketing. It's terrible for promotion. So with that being said, you don't really have to change that much for the press conference. But what I want you to do, make it a little bit longer. Don't shy away from these interactions between the fighters. And I want at least 15 to 20 questions asked by non-media people. I want 10 to 15 questions from fans. Now... Are you going to have to regulate this somehow? Yes, 100%. If you guys have a fan that just goes way too out of pocket, then maybe you can ban them from asking questions in the future, something like that. But you can't tell me, you know, having the fans there on media day to stir the pot between the fighters wouldn't be an amazing thing to add to press conference. Because I'm not going to lie, pretty sick of the exact same questions being asked during the press conference as during the media day these reporters have got extremely lazy and it shows because like i said they're asking the same questions to the fighters like how are you feeling how's this weight cut going taking the fight on short notice how is this going to affect the fight blah 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 it's the same question over and over and over and not only are they saying it on media day when they're asking the fighters one-on-one -on -one, then they go to that main press conference and ask them in front of everyone like we already heard this if you want to ask them this question one-on-one -on -one, that's fine but please spare us from having to hear it multiple times throughout the day i can only imagine how boring the press conferences for the fighters you know we need to bring some sort of entertainment back to these press conferences and i think adding fan questions is 100 the way to do it could you just imagine having some of these questions to ian gary having questions to mvp just having questions to stir up the pot is, is only gonna help promote the fight even more and have the fans get more excited for those fights but that's only one of the three things the next one this is one i really really want them to implement they had it for a few fights but they haven't had it for years now i want face-to-face -face interviews brought back for the main card it doesn't have to be every single fighter i understand that that could get costly and some fighters on the main card are just not that entertaining but but for 303 you know, I could see having, you know, only two people, the main event, Alex Pereira, Yuri Prohoshka, face to face. You can't tell me it wouldn't be entertaining having Yuri Prohoshka and Alex Pereira right in front of each other, face to face. Having Yuri Prohoshka tell Alex Pereira about him using these voodoo magic spells. And then, you know, we don't really need Brian Ortega, Diego Lopez. We don't need Anthony Smith, Roman Delice. We don't need Bueno Silva or Macy, but Ian Gary, MVP, face to face face that would be amazing i remember they did this with i believe darren till and masvidal little things like that to help promote the fights help actually build the business up more and more because like i said as of recently it seems like they got extremely complacent and just very it's like they don't even care anymore which is sad 
But yeah, bringing back face to face, having that be a regular thing. I mean, it doesn't have to be every single card. Maybe we can just hold it out for pay per views. But if they do good numbers, if the fans seem to like it a lot, bring it for every single card. Again, it doesn't have to be every single fighter. A select few amounts of bouts, maybe just a main event. And if there's a big name value that have beef with each other, that could be another one. I don't get why they haven't brought this back. I don't get why they only did it for Mazavidal versus Darren Till. Let's go through some of the upcoming fights that I think could be fun. Going into next weekend, you know, Macy Barber versus Nama Nunes. Eh, it's, you know, it, I guess that could be fun, but you don't need it. Like I said, maybe just for pay-per-views and select fight night cards. Like, moving up to the next one, Amanda Lemos. I don't, I don't care to have that. Let's go to 304. You can't tell me. Having Leon Edwards, Bilal Muhammad face-to-face -face on an interview, sitting down right in front of each other wouldn't be fun. You can't tell me Tom Aspinall, Curtis Blades couldn't have some fun moments. Manel Cap, Muhammad, Makayev couldn't be fun. Patty Pimblett, Bobby Green face-to-face -face couldn't be fun. There are so many fun just media day things that you could do to promote these upcoming fights that the UFC just aren't doing. That I have no idea why they aren't. You can't tell me that Corey Sanhagen versus Umar couldn't have fun moments. Vicente Luque, Nick Diaz, I mean, maybe not. Nick Diaz isn't the biggest fan of Media Day stuff. Tony Ferguson, Michael Chiesa could be fun. Then 305, you cannot tell me that Drikas Duplessis, Israel Adesanya, face-to-face, -face, sitting down in front of each other, wouldn't do huge numbers. The amount of clip-worthy things that could be said... The amount of memes that could be made. You can't tell me this isn't one of the best ideas that anyone has came up with on YouTube so far. They need to bring this back. I don't know why they haven't brought it back. But they 100% should bring it back. A great and pretty easy way to build up a dummy amount of hype during UFC events. But that being said, we have one more thing to do. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty easy to do. Maybe not the easiest thing to do, but... Man, we need, we need some new matchmakers in the UFC. These guys are all old heads. They don't know shit anymore. They're stuck in their old ways. Like, whoever made Nick Diaz versus Vicente Luque just should be fired on the spot. I don't think I need much explanation for new matchmakers because that's one of the biggest issues that a lot of people who watch MMA have, have had out of lately is just how terrible the matchmaking is in the UFC. Some matchups that just make absolutely no sense. Some matchup that should make sense that just for some reason don't get made. Like why hasn't Brian Ortega fought someone like an Aljamain Sterling? That would be a great fun matchup. Super fun stylistic wise. I don't know what's going on with the matchmaking in the UFC but they definitely need to fix it. So Dana White Hunter Campbell, if you are listening, you better have been paying attention. I expect this shit to be implemented by UFC 304. I'm going to be pissed. And yeah, you guys have to let me know in the comments below. Is there anything else that you guys think that UFC should add to improve? Especially for like the media day stuff. The media day is so boring nowadays. I remember I used to be so hyped up for media day, but... I don't know. As of recently, it's been shit. It's been so bad and I hate it. It's one of the worst things just because I know it could be so much better. So you guys have to let me know in the comments below. Is there anything that I missed? Is there any ideas that you guys have? And you know, we told it, Dana White we're going to oil him up. Maybe we have to bring something back about him getting oiled up if he doesn't implement these things. Because in my opinion, these top three things would increase not just fan excitement wise, but just increase the buzz around each fight tremendously. I wouldn't be surprised if this shit adds like a millions of dollars throughout the year in revenue as well. But that being said... We are on that goal to get to 500 subscribers. We get closer and closer each day. We're extremely close now. So if you haven't yet, leave a like on this video and subscribe with those post notifications turned on so you never miss any of my new videos. And with that being said, you know, there's really not much else left to say except for I will see you guys in my next video.